Hi, we're here in the uh, first year seedling patch here. And these were um, put, about 500 plants were put in in February and they've been growing since then um, and producing. And with the, with the seedlings, we do take out a fair amount of our seedlings. You'll see as you as we go that there's lots of lots of holes because um, we only keep a percentage of our seedlings, maybe five, ten percent of the seedlings for the year. So. Um, this one here is definitely going to be a keeper. Um, what we like about it is is the color. We're really into the color. Uh, we're really into the shape. We like fully doubled ones that go all the way back. We like straight stems and strong stems. And this one this one passes passes for that. And we're actually already starting to hybridize to it because we like most everything about it. So um, we we've got the organza bags on and we'll be taking pollen from those. So last year we hybridized for um, apricot. We were we were hoping for some apricot, and we did get some nice apricot. So here are some of the ones um, we will be keeping. Um, this one, um, and then um, this one here as well that um, turned out uh, nice and apricot for us, luckily. Um, and we like the how the plant is really healthy. The stems are nice and strong. Um, the the petals go back pretty far on this one. Um, you know, we can, we'll cut it at all different stages for our, for our bouquets. And, um, and then we were also hybridizing for some burgundy and we got a fair amount of, uh, fuchsia, red, and some burgundy off of that. Um, we got a lot of, uh, fuchsia, but we're happy with, like, this one is really nice. Again, strong stem, nice bloom position, um, as opposed to the stem and strong straight stem there. Um, this is one that we're really, really happy with. It's so beautiful in bouquets, and it, it is definitely that apricot color we were hoping for um, with kind of a different blush in the center. Um, this, this bloom we're happy with as well. It's got the nice blush in the middle, and it's white. We like, we like to hybridize for white. Um, we like to have a lot of whites in our garden for all the, the bridal work that um, we do. And then, I'm trying to think if this is that, so that same one. And then we do get some really tall varieties. People ask like, why are some of the varieties so tall and other ones short? And it's sort of like us, like, you know, as we grow, we, we, we are kind of short or tall depending on our genetics and the dahlias are like that too. So this is kind of a creamy white one. We've been having fun cutting with this one cutting this one for, um, for all the wedding work that our, our um, our counts do, and uh, it's kind of a nice creamy white. Um, so you can see here, if you show down here, that all of these are ones that we've cut out. So in this particular row, we, all the dahlias were were spaced 16 inches apart. And as we didn't, as the dahlias didn't work for us, we just pulled those out. So this is this is the last sort of bit. And then here's an apricot one that we like, but we won't be keeping it for us. It doesn't have as much petal count as we'd like. And it's a little, the plant is kind of thin and uh, doesn't produce a super lot, but that's one of our rows. Have a good day.